So we have a combination of real economy representatives and financial markets representatives. But I'm going to start by trying to get a sense of what's happening in the real economy, a snapshot of life on the ground away from the media headlines and the political tantrums, and start by asking Anne, when you look at what the consumers who use MasterCard are actually doing real time with their spending habits, with their credit, their plastic, do you think that we're actually seeing a real recovery right now? Well, I think we're seeing quite a muted recovery, especially in the US. Um, because basically U.S. consumers don't like um, instability, which no doubt they're feeling a bit this morning. But basically what you're seeing is there is growth, but it's growth in spending in what people need rather than what people want. So people are spending on food, on fuel, but there isn't that sort of level of growth going on in the apparel side. Um, and also, people are asking, certainly the US um, spending is indicating people want value for money. So while you've got something like 1% growth in the fast food sector, you have something like 16% growth in the next level up uh, in terms of restaurant. They want good food, not just fast food, which is interesting. Uh, here in the UK, we are experiencing growth. Um, again, it's in the, in the food and fuel area, a bit more confidence across Europe. Um, the, the political situation stabilizing here, and you're seeing some slow growth on continental Europe. It's probably the unemployment, um, the youth unemployment here, which is sort of 23%, I think, on average, that's affecting things. But of course, Eastern Europe is really driving growth. You know, the Poland, Russia, and so on, very, very confident <coughs> growth there. And when you get out into Asia, the Asia consumers are spending very well. But again, you're not seeing the spend that we saw originally in the luxury good area. You know, if you go to Hong Kong, people are not buying lots of designer stuff. They're choosing what they want to buy. And of course, the travel is down. Uh, the, the airline travel is down um, out of the UK, out of the US. People are staying home for their vacations. Um, people are actually driving on vacation. The Europeans are staying in Europe, the Americans are staying in America, and the Asians are also staying home. So you do have sort of hotel spending occurring, but it's localized. It's not the big international trends that we've seen. Right. Well. Those of you who were at the dinner last night and heard Mike Milken's compelling presentation well, would no doubt be delighted to hear that Americans are not picking out on fast food quite so much right now <laughs> and spending on higher quality um, food. But it, one question, if you look back over the last five or six years at what's been happening in the last month or two as seen by MasterCard, do you see a sort of flat lining or a steady upwards curve or have we seen any acceleration in spending in the last couple of months? Oh, we've certainly seen um, acceleration, you know, since, the, uh, since 2008. I mean, sort of consumer spending around the world continues to grow at about 5% a year, and that growth goes up to 12% in some countries. Um, but it really is very localized in terms of how the consumers are feeling. So, for instance, while, you know, um, down in Brazil, you've got the GDP growing at, I think, about 3% or something, um, they are being affected by the fact that, um, you know, interest rates have risen there. If you go out and buy a sofa in Brazil, you're paying for it in installments. And now people are paying something like 10% a month for those kind of things. So, you know, it very much depends on the local economy, what occurs. But yes, it has been growing continuously around the world.